Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan is really proud to receive a series of paintings on Grahamandala by our H.N. Suresh, Director of Projects and Programs. These paintings, while it is his artistic skill, it is also a combination of a deep study of astrology and astronomy. And we are sure the people all over the globe will be very much interested to see and enjoy and learn the various things which have come out with a deep study of astronomy. Namas Suryaya Chandraya Mangalaya Cha Udhaya Cha Guru Shukra Shanibhyas Cha Rahave Ketave Namaha I feel I am blessed to be sitting here with paintings of Namagrahas brought out extraordinarily well based on the signs of astrology and astronomy by my very dear colleague H.N. Suresh at the Bharti Vidya Bhavan. Paintings which have come out here are very well based on the real, true, astronomically oriented astrology. I would like to say just one thing that Suresh has taken pains to see to the roots and the causes of these nine planets. A, a, a prediction seeker, perhaps he may not get anything here. It is not with that purpose he has painted. He has given the true picture of the nine planets on which students interested in astrology could write their own thesis. This painting is known as Navagraha Mandala. In this painting you will see Sun, Moon, Mars and then the Rahu is known as the Dragon's Head and the Shani, the Saturn and Ketu, the Dragon's Tail and Guru who is known also as Jupiter and Buddha, the Mercury and of course Shukra, the Venus. This is the Navagraha in our concept. In this painting, you will also see the shapes of the grahas, which is very popular. For instance, Ketu is known by its flag-like creation all over the world. Similarly, the Buddha is the arrow-headed the shape, and it's also known for its green color. And the Mars, and its color is red and again the color of the Ketu is red 
like that the story goes on the about 50 symbols have been incorporated in this painting here you will see the international symbols this is symbol is to denote the Saturn and this symbol is known to use the dragon set and this is the symbol that is used for the Mars representation this is for the moon this is for the Venus and here this is for the Mercury and when we comes to Jupiter it's here like that you will see the international symbols and we have used the stones for, for instance the pearl is known for the moon and also emerald that is for the mercury the story again moves on like that then we have the graha yantras it is known as for example this rectangular shape of a painting here the numbers are there and for instance number five you know this is the fifth graha and the total of this uh, whatever the numbers that is here vertically as well as horizontally it, it is the same and when it comes to the tattvas each uh, graha is governed by a certain tattva for example again for guru it's an akasha when it comes to the surya it is agni and when it comes to the ketu it's again agni here and for Saturn, it's a Y. Like that, you will see number of uh, the tattvas that has been uh, incorporated in this uh, picture. The arrows are here, which denotes the Buddha's uh, symbol, and also the other symbolic representations of all grass, grass are seen in this picture. To make it more meaningful, we have uh, added some four slokas, which are very popular connected with Navagrahas. Like Nava Surya, Chandraya, Mangalaya, Budaya, uh, and also the Dhyana Slokas and Shanti Mantras connected with this picture. In this painting, you will notice that each grass have been placed in their respective positions. Uh, for example, the, in the uh, Dakshina, you will see Mangala, in the Uttara, you will see Guru. Then, say, Vayavya, it's uh, Ketu, Paschim, you will see the Shani and also in Purva the Shukra and the central uh, placement is for the Surya and we have also incorporated this Vijakshara's mantras for each of the grass Om, Him, Hum, like that it goes on and even those with the specific motives that are there to incorporate this Vija mantras are also uh, seen in this painting. In short uh, as well as possible, all the relevant uh, motives, colors, combinations, compositions have all been uh, stated in there. What is the special about this painting? In this painting, and for that matter, all the paintings in the Navagraha series, you will see a broad eyes for each of the grahas. These are deliberately being created to focus the attention on the viewer and also to see the painting is uh, taken the right uh, perspective and these eyes have been uh, used with the inspiration of the folk uh, materials that are available and perhaps another important aspect in this uh, series of exhibition is the usage of this rangoli patterns in each of these uh, paintings particularly when it, the faces of the grahas are created uh, in olden days, in the villages, in front of the house, the people used to put rangolis to announce which day it belongs. When it's a Monday, there is a specific rangoli. Tuesday, there is a specific rangoli. Like that, Vila Pita, Shiva Pita. Like that, so many uh, drawings have been incorporated. And those drawings, rangoli patterns, have also been a sort of inspiration for me to take up this project. Japa kusuma sankashan kashya peyam mahadyutim tamoryam sarvapapagnam pranatosmi divakaram
ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ದಿವಾಕರ ಸೂರ್ಯ Indian mind has a very unique capacity and flair for abstracting the concrete and vice versa even the concrete will be very beautifully abstracted and here in this genre we have plenty of instances starting from the swaras even the vedas the months weeks days planets stars and what not anything and everything imaginable is all brought out in the form of beautiful personified figures and to this genre we have a very refreshing addition by shri h n suresh and that is the navagraha chitramalika the definition of graha is grinhati iti graha that which attracts that which takes away that which snatches away that is graha and this is certainly going to steal our eyes and mind and one particular feature which we can unfailingly notice is regarding the eyes predominant eyes in every graha it's meant for drishti we have in jyotish shastra astrology very many details regarding the drishtis of grahas we know that some of the drishtis of some of the grahas are not good while some of them are very good but here in any way in any angle you look at it everything will be good and that is the upper hand of art in art anything and everything will be beautiful and everything will be good to look at if that as it test is passed out then graha will be no more graha it will be star it will be light and that is delight dadhi shankha tusharabham chira suresh for a very long time as an artist and um, i always respected the way he went about with his uh, you know drawing and painting under uh, uh, the leadership of hadpad he really developed into a very fine artist 
Now, over the years, you know, I have uh, seen him developing various things. And uh, now, at present, he has gone into this Navagraha series of paintings, depicting uh, without, you know, uh, without uh, really sacrificing anything, using the uh, all the uh, things which is there in Navagraha and bring it in, onto the canvas. It's not a very easy thing because uh, uh, I, I find it, uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, the, even the form itself can be very difficult to handle, Navagraha forms. And uh, so he has been able to, uh, you know, use these forms and uh, uh, do it in a way that aesthetically also it is pleasing. At the same time, it also, uh, you know, uh, projects whatever he has to say in Navagraha. And uh, I really uh, appreciate this uh, sort of a uh, venture. And, uh, you know, I really feel that, uh, um, that the Suresh has done a justice. Uh, and it's not so easy to do. I, I, as a painter, I myself I may find it very difficult to use all these elements in my painting. Dharani garbha sambhutam vidyutkalti samaprabham kumaram shakti hastam ucha mangalam pranamam yagam Mangalam Pranamam Yekam Angaragama Jayam Yekam Vinata Shrita Janam Daram Mangalamaram Pumi Kumaram Varam Varam Angaragama would like to look at these works of Suresh more as paintings than study of the planets. As I look at it, as I have a glance over the pictures, the very same esoteric verisimilitude continues in these works, which we found earlier in the study of the nakshatras. Here, the configuration is a combination of symbols and forms that gives an idea of each subject. It's not that uh, all the elements have gone into it to give an overall idea of uh, the configuration, but one or two elements are enough for you to arrive at the subject and then imagine the rest of it. Here, I find the very same miniature technique with flat colors that characterized our miniature paintings and the earlier Indian art. The flat colors which formed the base of uh, Indian art in the earlier, in the beginning stages is continued here and I congratulate Suresh on bringing back the sort of an old world charm to these paintings by these uh, Depictions. Priyangu Kalikashyamam Ropena Pratimam Vibhum Saumyam Saumyagumapetam Tam Budham Pranama Satatam Suravinotam 
Astronomy is that branch of science which is based on the current scientific background while astrology believes in traditional knowledge. But what about a common man? He gets confused. But at one point these two branches they unite. Especially when an artist depicts taking both these branches he comes out with a spectacular work that is what Sri H. N. Suresh, a renowned artist, has done in the present paintings. He has depicted various mythological aspects and also the traditional knowledge combined in it, the scientific, uh, whatever the knowledge that we have today. So that is what that makes these paintings really Wonderful. already conceived of the nakshatra mandala in a very innovative way which most of us know and now he has moved on to what would we would like to describe as the graha mandala as an artist he has brought his skills into full play and come up with a very innovative concept of depicting the various levels of symbolism that are associated with the different Navagrahas. I think this is a very novel approach to astrology and uh, looking at these paintings can give us new insights into what this symbolism at different levels represents and stands for and in a way I think that can also help in understanding and interpreting the charts because most of the charts have to be understood in the from the angle of symbolism of what the planet symbolize and this Mr. Suresh has made it very easy with his creative mind and with his colorful production of the different Navagrahas 
and the different things they stand for. Sarvashastra Pravaktaram Bhargavam Pranamamyagum Shri Sukra paintings by my good friend uh, Mr. Suresh are marvelous works of art. The way he has portrayed uh, all these celestial objects is uh, simply excellent. The way he has merged the ancient uh, scriptural Vedic uh, aspects of how our ancient people uh, looked at uh, the objects in the sky and connected them to the daily life here. He brought all that kind of aspects and uh, merged it with the modern day astronomical uh, facts. The kind of colors he has used for uh, indicating this uh, pictures is also very methodically selected. In my opinion, say for example, this is uh, Mars. Mars is a red planet. Uh, I mean, any, any picture of Mars you look at, it looks very red. Even if you look at it through a telescope, you will see that it is a red looking planet. So the kind of color he has used here is very apt. So in the same way, the color he has used for uh, moon also is very apt. Like that, varieties of things he has done and it is, uh, in my opinion, is uh, an excellent work.
Sab. Suresh is really very, very wonderful work he has produced and his knowledge about the Saturns and all the Grahas are wonderful way he has ex expressed in his works. And I people who will see, they will really enjoy and also understand what is our history of the nakshatras and astronomy. Ardhagayam Mahaviryam Chandra Aditya Vimardhanam Simhika Garbhasam witnessing these uh, art creations of our good artist friend, Mr. Suresh, I am really delighted and inspired to look into each one of them and the diagrams and the art uh, work that is done on each of these canvases uh, is uh, truly greatly impressive and the mantras uh, shown therein, uh, they have some spiritual significance I am sure and as a artwork certainly it is uh, highly praiseworthy and I am sure connoisseurs of art will love the creations of Mr. Suresh more and more. And uh, I wish Suresh will uh, go into further creations of artwork, getting inspiration from what he has already done on nakshatras and the planets now. Palasha Pushpa Sankasham Taraka Grahamastakam Ghora Rupam Maharupam Tam Ketum Pranamamyakam Mahasuram Ketumagam Bajami Chaya My good friend Suresh, who has got an artist in himself, a writer, a journalist, many, many, he has many talents to be with Bhavan and, and Bhavan gets an opportunity and through Bhavan he could showcase his capability. He has brought it out in a pictorial form where a person with the least knowledge about the astrology or astronomy 
could understand, appreciate, and also appreciate the various colors attributed, specific colors attributed to the planets. Ah. Uh.